नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग इफ्टरडे हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड एट वन आर टू प्लेसेस ओवर कोस्टर प्रदेश एंड साउथ इंटीरियर कर्नाटक हाउ एवर द हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड ओवर रायल सीमा तमिलनाडु एंड केरला एंड इफ्टरडे हिल स्टॉम एक्टिविटी वॉज रिपोर्टेड ओवर दी ईस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश मध्य महाराष्ट्र एंड उत्तराखंड इफ्टरडे थंडर स्टॉम एक्टिविटीज एलॉन्ग विद दी स्ट्रॉन्ग गस्टी विंड्स वॉज ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड वेयर दी ओवर दी गैंजेटिक वेस्ट बंगाल maximum uh, 72 km per hour winds were reported over the gujarat state maximum 114 kmph winds were reported similarly over the konkan area maximum 90 kmph wind over the ghat kopar was reported however santa cruz reported 59 kmph wind similarly over the madhya pradesh maximum 90 kmph winds were reported if you look for the today's main chief synoptic features over the east india a trough runs from sikkim area up to the uh, uh, north bay of bengal a cyclone of circulation also lies over the bangladesh over the central india a circulation lies over the bidharwa and the lower tropospheric levels and trough runs from southeast arabian sea up to the madhya maharashtra and the lower levels and over the southeast arabian sea a cyclonic circulation can also be seen adjoining to the kerala coast a, another cyclonic circulation lies over the comorian area and a, one one more cyclonic circulation lies over the southeast bay of bengal because of this synoptic features heavy rainfall activity will continue over the parts of peninsular india during next 5 days particularly kerala and tamil nadu uh, very likely to experience heavy rainfall activity during all the 5 days however on today very heavy rainfall activity is also likely it one or two districts mainly the nilgiri district of the tamil nadu and one or two districts of the kerala so we have issued the orange alert similarly over the coastal and pradesh and rural sima also likely to experience heavy rainfall activity at one or two places on today south interior karnataka very likely to get heavy rainfall activity during next 3 days and coastal karnataka very likely to get heavy rainfall activity on 17th and 18th of may over the northeast india once again the heavy rainfall expel uh, will start mainly from the arunachal pradesh from 16th of may so and on 17th of may heavy rainfall will be seen over the arunachal pradesh assam meghalaya and similarly on 18th may also if you look for the hail storm activity then on today mainly the western parts of the madhya pradesh and madhya maharashtra are likely to experience hail storm activity at one or two places and on tomorrow madhya maharashtra and marathwada likely to get hail storm activity at one or two places from 16th may onwards there uh, there will not be any hail storm activity over any parts of the country and if you look for the rainfall activity so mainly the south peninsular india are very likely to get light to moderate rainfall activity over the many parts during all the five days over the northeast india the rainfall activity will uh, likely to increase from 16th of may and which will continue for the subsequent 3 to 4 days and over the central india west india and adjoining parts of the east india likely to get light rainfall activity and thunderstorm activity at one or two places during next 2 to 3 days from 17th of may as we can see in this map entire central india entire northern uh, northern parts of the country and adjoining west india including gujarat and rajasthan very likely to be dry which can be seen in the white color in this map and similarly on 18th may also this area uh, over the mainly northern parts of the country central parts of the country west india very likely to be dry on 18th may also and if you look for the steady maximum temperature then mainly the mainly the maximum temperatures were in the range of 41 to 43 3 degree centigrade at one or two places over the har south haryana southwest uttar pradesh northwest madhya pradesh parts of rajasthan and parts of gujarat region and over the east india central india and remaining parts of the northwest plains of northwest india the maximum temperatures were in the range of 39 to 41 degree centigrade and maximum temperatures very likely to increase very likely to rise by by about 5 degree centigrade over many parts of east india many parts of the central india and many parts of the plains of northwest india during next 4 to 5 days once these temperatures will rise the heat wave conditions will be seen over the northern parts of the country so mainly the punjab haryana uttar pradesh and bihar and some parts of the west rajasthan also very likely to get heat wave conditions from 16th of may which will continue for the subsequent 4 to 5 days and over the east rajasthan the heat wave conditions will start from 17th of may and similarly over the northern parts of the madhya pradesh the heat wave conditions will start from 18th of may and even on 18th may severe heat wave conditions will also be seen at one or two places over the punjab haryana and west 
Swift, Rajasthan. So we have issued the orange alert for Punjab and Haryana on 18th of May because of the severe heat wave conditions. And orange alert has been issued for the West Rajasthan on 17th and 18th of May because of the severe heat wave conditions over the region. For more detailed weather information, you can visit the MD website. You can follow us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and our Twitter page. Thank you.